Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through a full day of eating on my current cutting diet. We're starting off the day with my first meal, this breakfast, quesadilla, and what you'll be able to see on the screen right now is how I made it. It's a very simple thing to make. All you gotta do is whisk up a couple of eggs, cook them on a pan with a wrap on top, flip it over, put your toppings in, it's simple to make, but it's really high in protein. And for the amount of protein that you're getting, the calories are quite good. Speaking of which, I'll put the calories and the macros on the screen for you right now. This breakfast case deal with a little bit of ketchup is about 600 calories, and we're looking at around 40 grams of protein, which is amazing. This is the first video that I filmed in my new house. I moved in here in June. I'm now living with my girlfriend. Hopefully, I'm planning to bring a lot more fun content to you guys on this YouTube channel. So if you're looking forward to seeing that, make sure you tap that like button and make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'm gonna get this breakfast eaten now and I'm gonna come back to you and let you know what I've got for lunch. All right, so lunchtime is here. And for lunch today, I've got a chicken and vegetable rice meal. So this was made completely from scratch. I chopped up all the vegetables myself fresh. Not that frozen vegetables are bad for you, but I prefer to make things fresh. I've just been out for a walk. I like to get in some steps over my lunch break. I find it's a great way to increase your daily steps. And whilst I was on a walk, I was sipping on a Pepsi Max Lime, which is my favorite soft drink at the moment. So I'm gonna to top this meal with some salt, some pepper, some sriracha sauce, and finally some reduced sugar, because these can be quite high in sugar, sweet chili sauce. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna enhance the flavor of this meal. And sauces like sriracha and low sugar sweet chili sauce are quite low in calories. So it's probably been about three or so hours since I had my breakfast and I haven't had anything to snack on. But there are two things I always have which essentially just stop me craving any snack. And those are water and coffee. And I just find that having water and coffee in the morning, I maybe have two coffees in the morning. I don't go crazy with it. And this is a litre bottle. I'll get through at least one of them. And I think I'm starting on my second one here. So I've had over a litre of water this morning as well. It just stops me from craving any other snacks. So the calories and the macros for this meal will be on the screen for you now. It's another very high protein meal. Chicken breast is a great source of protein. I'd fully recommend anyone that doesn't have chicken breast in their diet, who isn't a vegan, to start adding chicken breast to their diet. So it's a nice low calorie, high protein meal. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna have a little snack before I work out. I'm gonna show you that next. Okay, I'm gonna hit the gym soon, so I've got a few things right here that I'm gonna eat before I go, and drink as well. First thing, I've got one scoop of creatine with about two to 300 milliliters of water. Anyone that says that you need more than one scoop, it's not correct. Anyone that says you need to load creatine, you don't need to. Just take one scoop of creatine each day, allow it to saturate in your muscles. After a few weeks, you'll start to see the benefits. Next, we've got some fruit today. I've decided to go for some honeydew melon. The better thing about honeydew melon as opposed to watermelon is that all the seeds are in the middle, which you would see on your screen. We've got three lotus biscuits. They're quite low in calories for biscuits. They're only like 30 to 35 calories, something like that per biscuit. It's not the most optimal thing to eat. Not everything you eat has to be optimal. You can just eat things every now and then just because you like them. And then to go with the biscuits, of course, we've got a cup of tea because I'm English and I love tea. So you would have seen the way that I make tea as well. Put the milk in before the water. I don't really think that's correct. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna to go to the gym soon. I'm gonna be training a push day with a focus on chest. But I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna to go to the gym. And then after that, you're gonna see what I have for dinner. All right, so I've just finished the gym and I just wanted to make this quick section in the video just to talk about my session and how it went. So. I didn't get any recordings of any of the stuff that I did. Uh, sometimes my mates are there and I can ask them to record for me, but it was quite busy and none of them were there. So I didn't get any footage. But what I wanted to say was this, the last seven weeks in a row in my push days, on my push sessions, I have been stuck at 110 kilos on bench press and I haven't been able to move. I haven't been able to progress in seven weeks. And this is sort of like the unfortunate truth about being on a cut. When you're not bulking and you're not gaining weight, you'll often find that on your push days especially, you just find it hard to progress. I mean, there were other exercises that I did progress in. I added like an extra set on a higher weight on a couple of exercises, you know, did a couple of extra reps on a couple of exercises as well. But the bench press especially, it's just not been going my way. I mean, if any of you guys watching the video right now have any tips or advice that you'd give to me on just getting out of this stalling part, like, I don't know what to call it right now, but, you know, I'm kind of stuck in this 110 kilo bench press and I can't get out of it. 
If anyone can give me any advice in the comments on how I can progress, I would appreciate that. But we're gonna go home now, we're gonna cook up dinner, I'm gonna show you what it is, I'm gonna show you a little bit of me cooking it as well. It's a very simple dinner, a dinner that myself and Amy have every single week at this point. You'll see it when I get back. See you in the next clip. Okay, so it's time for dinner. Tonight we've got meatballs, couscous, in a tagine sauce. It's one of the meals that me and Amy have every single week. It's become more or less a habit now, but it's so tasty and quite high in protein as well. So you'll be able to see on the screen now, me making it. It's such a simple meal to make as well. All you gotta do, put the meatballs in the air fryer for 15 minutes, put some boiling water on your couscous and let that sit for a few minutes and just heat up your sauce in a pan. We're gonna to top it off with some salt, some pepper, and some Parmesan cheese as well. So in terms of vegetables, it's roasted veg couscous, so it's got a little bit of vegetables in it. It's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it tastes great and it's high in protein as well. And speaking of which, you'll see the calories and the macros on your screen right now. With that being said, I'm gonna get this meal eaten and I've got one more thing to show you guys after this. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video so far, as we are coming to the end, make sure you do like the video and subscribe as well. And I'll show you the total number of calories and the macros at the end of this video. So let's eat this and I'll show you what I've got for dessert. Okay, so this is the final thing that I'm gonna be eating of the day. It is a Arla salted caramel protein pudding. It's just a great way to get an extra 20 grams of protein in at the end of the day. And with that being said, I'm gonna show you the calories and the macros of this protein pudding. And to finish off the video, I'm gonna put on the screen right now the total amount of calories that we've had today and the total macros that we've finished on. It's been a good day of eating, nice and high in protein, not too high in the calories. I am a big guy myself, I weigh 100 kilograms at this point in time, and I stand at five feet, 11 inches tall. So I'm gonna need a little bit more than the average person considering I am a regular gym goer as well and do have a lot of muscle underneath some of this fat. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more full day of eating videos or if you potentially wanna see more of my training. I am very much happy to give you guys what you wanna see because that's the most important thing. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.